Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we're gonna to unbox the Nanoleaf Shapes and set it up in HomeKit. I know Nanoleaf Shapes is already a long time around, but I was thinking why would I not make a video about this? Then I can help you decide if you're gonna to buy the Nanoleaf Shapes or not. So let's get started. So I bought me the Nanoleaf Shapes starter kit with 9 tiles in it. It comes in a cardboard box. I don't know what I'm saying, but of course everything comes in a cardboard box. If you open the box, the first thing we see is a piece of cardboard that looks nice. And if we pull the cardboard up, then we see finally the nano leaf shapes itself then you see the connectors to connect the shapes together sorry for interrupting the video but i forgot to say there's also two sided adhesive tape in the box then we have some plug extensions and then we have the adapter itself and this is the controller to connect the nano leaf to the internet and home kit and of course all the other smart home apps so first of all we're going to connect the controller to the shape itself. It is really easy to do. Just take a connector and plug it together. It is reversible and that is so cool. So now we're going to connect the power cable to the shape as well. Remember you can choose where you place the power or controller so it's up to you where you want to place it. Example if you want to place the controller in the middle, the top or a side it is possible. Also for the power cable. So if we have done the power cable and the controller then we can place the stickers on all the shapes that you have. So I just did that and now we can start to install the nano leaf shapes to the wall. It is really easy so first you need to place the connectors on the shapes where you want that an other shape will be. I will start with one shape where my controller and my power cable are. I want that my second shape is next to it so I will place the connector on this side. If we have done that then we can pull off the other side of the sticker. Now we can press it on the wall. So now we're just gonna repeat everything again for every shape. So that's it. Now your nano leaf shapes are connected to each other and are installed on your wall. So the last thing we need to do is connect it to HomeKit. You can also add this to the most smart home apps. It is really easy to connect it to HomeKit. So first of all, open HomeKit and press on the plus button. Then we press add accessory. Then you see something is popping open. You can scan the HomeKit code that's on the back of the Nanoleaf controller. Or just press on more options and then it will also show the Nanoleaf shapes. I recommend to just scan the HomeKit code that's faster and nicer to do. And there you go, Nanoleaf is successfully connected to HomeKit. I would say download also the Nanoleaf app and connect it there also. Okay, then you can update the Nanoleaf shapes and if you have a HomePod mini you can also enable thread in the Nanoleaf app. After that you can just remove the app. You only need the Nanoleaf app if you want to update it. But if there is an update available you will see it in HomeKit as well. It will just show up. Then you can download the Nanoleaf app again but you can choose if you want to delete the Nanoleaf app or just let the app on your iPhone. But that's up to you. Now I've been using the Nanoleaf shape for almost a month and I really loved it. But I wish there was a cheaper version without touch controls. I don't use touchy controls, so yeah. I also love that these do have thread. They're so fast they're responding. I hope more companies are going to use thread and remove Bluetooth and Wi-Fi for smart home things. It will be so much better. So, do I recommend them to you? I will say yes and no. They're really nice to have but they're really expensive light panels. So if you really want them, just go for it. But if you don't want to spend so much money on some light panels, just go for some Nanoleaf light light strips or some other smart home stuff. I'm going to keep them. By the way, let me know what you guys think about the Nanoleaf shapes and as always, if you have some questions, just let me know in the comments and I will respond to it. So this was the video for this week, I hope you enjoyed it, so please drop a like, subscribe and I will see you next time.